I have all the material laid out to make a new raised bed. And this may be the easiest raised bed that you can make. Before I begin, I think I can get the whole thing done in less than five minutes. Join me today and we'll see if I can do it. Hi, I'm Gardner Scott, and putting this bed together is easy because there's really no construction skills required. It's just a matter of lifting, sliding, and stacking to build the layers. The key to the simplicity is all about the corner pieces. These concrete pieces are sold as planter wall blocks at home improvement centers. There is a slot in each end, and all we're going to do is take a board and slide it into the block. Whenever I build a new raised bed, I like to have the material in place before I begin. It makes the whole process easier, especially one like this that's going to go so quickly. It may actually take more time to lay out the boards and put the corners in place than the actual construction of this bed. I've laid out all of the pieces roughly where they're going to go. The only measurement I've done up to this point is with this block right here. This is the starting point, and I wanted it two feet out and two feet over from the other bed. This area is level. It's going to be good for building this bed. Later on, I can come back and fine tune the measurements, but for now, I think just putting these eight foot long boards and four foot long boards in place will give me the bed I'm looking for. Four feet by eight feet and a very easy build. To show you real time just exactly how long this is going to take, I'm putting a clock on the corner and as I start building, you'll see exactly how long it takes. Let's see if we can do it in less than five minutes. I'll take the first board and slide it into the corner. I'll move down here. I'll adjust this corner so it fits. I'll take a side piece, slide it in, adjust the corner as well. Now I'll use the end piece again. Obviously I need to adjust this corner a little bit. Another side piece. And the first layer is done. Now we're going to stack for the second layer. I'll put a new block on top, slide in the board, go to this corner, slide in the end block, the other end piece, another end block, the other side piece, the final corner, and the side. Double layer bed constructed. Now we just do the fine tuning to make sure it's exactly the size we want. I'm taking diagonal measurements between the corners from the center of the block to the center of the block. This one's coming out to about 115 inches. The other one is coming out 114 three quarters inches. That's pretty incredible. That's close enough for me. Measuring corner to corner is an optional step. What you're doing is just making sure that the bed is square, a 90 degree angle in each corner. And I like knowing that. But as you saw, just by eyeballing it and putting the boards in place, I got to almost perfectly square. So that's why I didn't run the clock during that process. And it just takes a couple of minutes. This next step is also optional, but I highly recommend it. At the center of each of these blocks, 
is an open hole. And so when you stack the blocks and have multiple levels, you can put a piece of rebar through the levels and hammer it into the ground to really anchor the bed. And that's what I'm choosing to do. So because I consider this an important step, I'm going to go ahead and start the clock again. And we'll see how long it takes to anchor the bed. As you can see, it goes pretty quickly. I'm not hammering the rebar in all the way because I may end up putting another layer on top. And there you have it. This bed is anchored and it's ready for a third layer. All I have to do is just slide another corner piece on top of the rebar and put in more boards. These are two by six lumber. That's what these blocks are made to support. The two pieces gives me a bed slightly less than 12 inches. The rebar is two feet long. So I could easily do a third layer. If I wanted to do more than that, I would need a longer piece of rebar. So now I have a new bed, eight feet long, four feet wide, one foot tall, ready to add another layer if I so choose. I can fill it, put plants in it for the upcoming season, and it really didn't take much effort. Did we achieve our goal? Were we able to build this in less than five minutes? Of course we did, with plenty of time to spare. Now these end pieces do need to be cut, but at the Home Improvement Center, if you just ask them to cut the boards for you, they'll happily do it, and it won't take you any extra time at all. I cut these boards myself, and it only took me a total of about a minute and a half for this side and that side together. This is a really easy project and a really fast project, and I think it's affordable too. At the time of filming, each of these corner blocks was less than $4. And each of these boards was about $8. So for each level that I did, I was able to do it for less than a total of $50. This entire bed as constructed is less than 100. If you're looking for a new bed, think about this. It really doesn't get much easier. If you want to see how I fill my raised beds for planting, watch this video next. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening.